Chad Pennington, Vinny Testaverde, Quincy Carter, Brooks Bollinger, Kellen Clemens, Brett Favre, Mark Sanchez, Greg McElroy, Geno Smith, Michael Vick, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Bryce Petty, Josh McCown, Sam Darnold, Luke Falk, Trevor Simeon, Joe Flacco, Zach Wilson, Mike White, Tim Boyle. That's a list of starting quarterbacks that I've watched start for my favorite football team since I became a fan in 2003. I was born in 1995. I claim 2003 as the first year that I remember watching Jets football and really understood what was going on when I was eight years old. That's a long time. This is my 22nd season that I am about to embark on watching for the New York Jets. And over that time, the New York Jets have not played a home playoff game. Their last time that they won the division and played a home playoff game comes in 2002, a season before that I started my New York Jets fandom. The New York Jets have the longest active playoff drought in all the four major sports, the NFL, MLB, NBA, and NHL, all the major sports. No playoffs since 2010. I was in 10th grade. Just started 10th grade in 2010. Since then, I've got my driver's license. I graduated high school, graduated college, worked a full-time job, quit my full-time job to do content, got engaged, bought a house, all of that in the last 13 years without the playoffs. The Jets have eight straight seasons of a losing record heading into this season. And during this playoff drought, only have one winning season, which came in 2015. And the team did not make the playoffs at 10 and 6. The name that I haven't listed as the New York Jets starting quarterback yet is Aaron Rodgers. Because technically, yes, Aaron Rodgers has started a game for the New York Jets. So he should be included on that list that I just rattled off of quarterbacks that I've had some the pleasure and some most the displeasure of watching start for my favorite team. Aaron Rodgers was ripped away from New York Jets fans after just four plays in 2023. Started the season, four plays, it was over. He didn't complete a pass. After what was a highly anticipated offseason when the New York Jets acquired him or first were said to be acquiring him in March, we had a month before he was actually traded for in April, a long offseason, hard knocks, and all of it gone four plays into the season. It was right back to watching Zach Wilson, Trevor Simeon, Tim Boyle starting football games after what was supposed to be the end. This was supposed to be a year ago, a time where Jeff fans were going to end the longest active playoff drought in all of sports. Instead, the Jets limp to a seven and 10 season. Now, that's not to say that this year in 2024, the New York Jets don't enter the season without some question marks. There are. What does Aaron Rodgers look like after a year on the shelf? Do they have a good enough head coach in Robert Sala? Is the play caller going to hold them back? Can the Jets stay healthy this year? All valid questions when trying to predict how the New York Jets are going to do in 2024. But my message to Jet fans before this 2024 season is this. Enjoy the ride. I've been doing content uh, covering this team on YouTube for five, six years 2018 I was doing draft videos why the Jets shouldn't sign Kirk Cousins why they should draft a quarterback I wanted Baker Mayfield at the time it ended up being Sam Darnold I covered the Sam Darnold rookie season I covered the Adam Gase era I covered 2 and 14 I covered Zach Wilson I covered the Mike White drama I covered watching Aaron Rodgers come to the New York Jets I watched him I covered him getting hurt in his first game as a member of the New York Jets, and I want to cover a good football team. Jet fans haven't had that luxury in a really long time. And I know that there's some some people, even in the own fan base, who are doubting this team. And listen, I don't know how far the Jets are going to go this year, but my message to Jet fans is enjoy the ride because there is not a franchise that deserves this more right now than New York Jet fans. We've seen teams like the Cleveland Browns in recent years make the playoffs and end a long streak. The Detroit Lions did that just a year ago. 
It's the Jets' turn now to end the longest active. I'm going to emphasize it one more time. The emphasis on the longest active playoff drought in all major sports. Jeff fans have been waiting a really long time for Aaron Rodgers to quarterback this team because it, it shows something that Jets fans haven't had in a really long time, which is hope. And I'm excited for the start of the 2024 season. I'm rocking the Aaron Rodgers number eight legacy white jersey. It's a mix of nerves. It's a mix of excitement. It's anticipatory anxiety. I have it all right now, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. I am ready to go for the start of the season. And I hope you are too, because we're Jeff fans. We deserve this.